Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you how you can create a face tattoo like this in the Spark AR studio and where you can find the face mesh guidelines to create your assets for the face tattoo in a more easy way. So let's start! So, before we can get started in creating the filter in the Spark AR Studio, we have to create our face tattoo in a program like Photoshop or any other program where you can manipulate a picture. To do this in a more easy way, we can download the face, face reference assets from the Spark AR Studio homepage. I will link the link to the page in the description. Just click on the face reference assets and download them. Then unzip the folder you have downloaded and in there you will find two folders, a mesh folder and a textures folder. Just open the textures folder and in there you will find a facemesh.bng which you can open in Photoshop or any other program you want. This will help you to design your face assets more easily. When you have opened the file in Photoshop or any other program, you will find something like this. You will see here some guidelines of the face. You can see the eyes, the mouth, the nose and the cheeks. And here it is more easy to design a uh, design for your face tattoo. I have designed this one and after you have designed the face tattoo, just um, remember to toggle off the face mesh layer so that the face mesh won't be visible in the filter. After you have done this, just export it as a PNG. After the export, we can finally start creating the filter in the Spark AR Studio. So just drag and drop your design into the assets of your Spark AR project, then toggle the no compression option and create a new material. After you have created the new material, we have to create a face tracker object in, in our scene. And in this face tracker object, we have to add a face mesh object. Now you will see this in your viewport. For the next step, click on the face material, go to the shader type and set it to face band. Then choose as texture the mask texture you has, have created and then go to the face mesh object and set the material to the face material we have just created. And now we finally um, created a face tattoo in Spark AR Studio. This was pretty simple and you can change the settings of the material to um, change the appearance of the face tattoo. So you can set the opacity, the background influence and also the brightness of your face tattoos. So you can play around here to find uh, the perfect look for your filter. So yes, I hope I could help you in creating a face tattoo in, this, in Spark AR. If yes, leave a thumbs up on this video and if you, want, if you don't want to miss my next video here on this channel, just subscribe to it. Thanks for watching and see you, in, see you next time. Bye!